My name is Marlene Price and I'm a serial volunteer in the Borough of Wandsworth. Not only in the Borough of Wandsworth, I also do things uh, nationally as well. Uh, I was born in Guyana. In those days it was British Guyana. It was a British colony. Um, and I grew, I grew up there and I came to England in 1966. I could have been a Windrush, but I wasn't. I make a huge impact, I believe, in my community. I started off by doing a residence association where I live, being in the residence association. They were asking for volunteers to help. I started off um, doing that. This was way over 30 years ago, uh, more than 35 to be exact. Um, and from that, um, I was asked to join the Battersea Crime Prevention Panel. We have a summer scheme and we have a, a week in the park where we um, have all kinds of activities for the children. We also fund quite a lot of um, events um, and activities and some of the groups that are asking for money to carry on because now that um, the youth teams and youth organizations have lost a lot of funding. In 2003, 2013, I received another um, civic award from Wandsworth Borough Council and that was um, because of the over 30 years service I gave to housing. And in 2014, I was awarded the British Empire Medal my, and the, Queen, the Queen's June 2014 birthday's honours list and that was again in recognition of the contribution I've done to the residents of Wandsworth. Black culture is unique. Um, black culture, the, the music, uh, originally in the, in the old days um, the music was nice and soft um, but the music today is not to my liking. Uh, I know it's of the young people's liking. Um, black culture is, uh, we've grown up to love and respect each other and the kids today don't do it but the kids of earlier days they respect everybody was either called an auntie or an uncle um, but not today it's the kids have, have got their own version of how they refer to adults but I just wish I just sincerely wish that we can transform what some of the things that we've learned um, we used to have to go, we went to church. It was a, a thing to go to church on a Sunday, dress up in your Sunday best to go to church. That doesn't happen today. I just wish some of the things that we'd learned um, in our days be brought back so that the young kids of today can appreciate and, and change their way of an outlook. Black History Month was running for quite a long time and not in the past, it hasn't had the prominence as it has this year. And this year, there have been some unfortunate, unfortunate events that have brought these things to the fore. But over the years, the black culture, um, now referred to as the BAME, BAME culture, have always had, have always been suppressed. In Black History Month, we do need to, especially for those who are unaware of the importance and the inputs that the black people, mainly those that have come from the colonies, have put into this country. All the nurses, all the doctors, all the care staff, the majority of them are black and they are proud of it. And we're all proud of it. I would love young people of today to get involved in things in their own area, get involved with groups and volunteer. If you cannot get a job, rather than sit at home, go out, look for the groups, volunteer with them. You've got the age, you've got groups like Age Concern who the old the older generation would just love to have company go out and talk to them tell them you know tell them about your own life tell them about how you've been brought up tell them about your family tell them about your history be proud of your history we always be proud of your history but if we can just pull those together pull those kids out together embrace them and just show them which is the right path some will be difficult, 
but some will be easy to manage. I am Marlene. I am proud to be volunteering in Wandsworth. I am proud to be able to help people. I love to help people. My Black History Month. Thank you.